Hey you guys, it's your girl Vak Hey The Gem and welcome and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on here and give you guys a life update video before I get into my travel vlog. It's actually Sunday and I actually leave today. Um, it's 10.35 and I leave um, to get to the airport by 12 because my flight leaves at 2. But I just wanted to come on here and just give you guys a life update video because my previous video, if you guys have not seen it, click out of this one go see it and come back um it was with me and my homegirls and we went to see Tiwa Savage's concert but before that I feel like I haven't really given you guys a life up update and it's long overdue regarding school this is currently my last year at my university I'm a second year junior right now so um this will be like my senior year and school has been going well for the most part the first half of summer um like last month i took a couple of online summer classes and the second half of summer i'm doing my study abroad thank god my classes for the first half of summer i got a's in both of them i took two and hopefully i'm hoping and praying that this study abroad brings me back to the states with two a's as well um, there's not going to be any exams. It's mainly just going to be like writing. We're going to be taking tours and stuff and just writing a reflection over that. So I'm just really excited to experience that. Since I was in middle school, I've always had the dreams and hopes of studying abroad. And I didn't even really know how I was going to do it. I just knew that I wanted to do it. And I applied for scholarships because i was watching hella youtube videos one day and they're like apply for scholarships apply for scholarships and i just did that and by the grace of god i got every single scholarship i applied for so my program is literally over 100 percent paid for the remainder of the money i'm going to use while i'm abroad and i kind of have a lot so whatever is left i'm gonna keep but um i may take a trip with the rest of the people um they want to go to paris but speaking of my future travel plans um i plan on going to paris as well this year so i'm trying to see if i should go to paris with my study abroad group as well as going to paris in september or if i should just save money and just experience it um, so that's where i'm stuck in between at the moment after graduating i do have plans i just don't want to speak about it yet because they're my goals and i feel like i want to keep my goals personal because i just want you guys to see the results you get me i mean i spoke to a few close friends about what i want to do after um college but it's really all in god's hands it's in god's plans where he wants me to go if he wants me to continue higher education if he wants me to leave texas it's all in god's hands I, I move by faith i don't move by sight i don't move by worldly possessions i've moved by what god wants me to do and i'm really hopeful for my future as far as school as far as working if you guys know i make most of my money um trading stocks in the um stock market i trade options so um throughout the week that's what i do i don't really at the moment i'm not really looking for like a nine to five type of job however on the weekends i do work at like a restaurant lounge type of situation just because i feel like i'm over going out i'm over going into the nightlife i'd rather spend i'm at a point where i'd rather spend my weekends at home watching netflix or hulu instead of going out to the club it's a cool vibe there it's a nice vibe i like the girls and that's what i'm doing as far as working but when i come back i'm not sure if i want to work just because like i'm a full-time student my parents tell me school education comes first like once you graduate then you'll be making money and right now i'm pretty comfortable so um as far as trading my stocks, I'm not sure upon returning whether or not I'll be working just because I really want to, this is my last year, I really just want to focus in on my grades and my school life and the things that I want to accomplish within being, exploring my educational journey. As mentioned earlier, I told you guys um, I'll be going to Paris this year. Um, it's my mom's birthday and she wants to celebrate it in Paris. 
and I just think it would be a really good trip because my mom never celebrates her birthday. She's very hardworking. She's so firm on her faith and I just really admire her and I love my mom so much. So she deserves to go to Paris. Nick is going to be in Paris, okay? So that's the plan for um, September. Also in September, I'll be going to Chicago for a weekend with my mom just to get away and we have an, uh, an event conference thing that we go to every year, it's Chicago. And I've actually posted, um, what was it, LA. So if you haven't seen that video, it's a couple couple years back. Go click out at this one, go to that one, come back, thank you. But yeah, me and my mom, and we'll be going to Chicago in September as well. And I wanna go to New York in September just because um, that's New York Fashion Week and I went to the New York Fashion Week. Um, what's that, spring, summer, or was that fall, winter? I can't tell you right now. But New York Fashion Week is twice a year. You have the summer, spring, and you have the fall, winter. So I want to go to New York then as well, but I feel like that may be too many trips just in September alone, especially since my birthday is October. So I'm going to see whether or not like going to New York Fashion Week will clash with my other plans. As far as my birthday, if you guys know me, I've literally celebrated my birthday every single year for the past seven years. So I have to keep going have to keep it up and it's my 21st so I'm definitely celebrating it I have some ideas but nothing is set in stone obviously because I have other things to worry about before I start thinking about my birthday because whenever I start thinking about my birthday I'm planning 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 and I just don't think right now is the time for me to be spending my time planning my birthday as far as like my life whether it's my health my state of mind, my endeavors. I feel like overall, um, I'm in a good headspace, like a good mind. I'm really like positive. I've been really in my Bible and it's really been my therapy, grounding me, giving me peace of mind and really just like leading me. Like, I don't know how to describe it, like giving me direction with my life. And overall, my mental state, I'd say I'm like a, I don't want to rate it on the scale, actually, never mind. But I feel like overall, um, everybody has those days where they don't feel well. And honestly, sometimes you got to cry because crying tears just releases energy and it makes me feel better at least. So I have my days where that does happen. But like overall, I'd say I'm pretty um, happy, I'm pretty serene, I'm pretty content with my life and knowing that I have a future in this world just keeps me going and I have a purpose in this world keeps me going. As far as my modeling journey, um, it's there, it's growing. Um, towards the end of the spring semester, I just stopped modeling because I just felt like I needed to focus on school. So after that semester ended, that's when I picked up on just doing photo shoots, but y'all, I want to go big like I want to go big so honestly I want to go big and I feel like Texas is kind of limited because they don't really have um, a market for models like that and I just feel like the modeling here like what Drake say don't tell me you don't you model if you ain't been in Vogue like I respect it like Vogue has the top models Vogue is the goal and whether or not I make it there how long it, it takes for me to make it there like I just want to be modeling on a higher scale like yeah doing photo shoots is cool because I'm building my portfolio so I'm going to continue to be doing that but as well as like just doing small shows around like Dallas I'm not really interested in it or working with the brand unless there's a check attached to that I'm not doing it I've been modeling and I feel like you get to a point where you can really be choosy because you know what you want, you know what the goal is, and you're not gonna get there by saying yes to everything. And that's where I feel like I'm at surface level for me, like it's surface level. I wanna do bigger and better things with my career. So that's how I feel, and I hope that's respectable. Like I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but I just know what I want in life as far as like 
my modeling journey and career. It's like relationships and stuff like that. I'm not looking for no relationship. Um, like if I'm talking to someone and it becomes a relationship, that's cool. But I just been doing my own thing and um, I feel like when the school year starts, unless it's like someone where we just meet, like, whoa, like, I'm not looking for you no know, guy just because, like, this is my last year. Like, this is the year for focus, growth, transformation, all of that. And unless I have a partner who is on the same level as me or above, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to be playing mom, like, it's not my calling. I do want to experience love. I do want to eventually have a partner where I will be with them, hang with them, do things with them, pump into each other for our growth. And when that person comes into my life at the right time, then I'll be into a, I'll be in a relationship. But it's not a focus right now at all. At all. I'm content, fam. Like I'm content with the people that I have in my life who care about me and who feel like they see something in me and want to invest in it, you get me. I feel like I covered everything as far as school, work, travel, my life, relationships. I feel like everything is covered. So thank you so much for watching this video. After this, um, I'm actually stopping this to start my um, London vlog. I'm going to London for a month to study abroad and I'm going to be starting that vlog. I think I'm going to do like weekly vlogs. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you're subscribed and comment down below if you guys like update videos, if you think it's interesting or if I should stick to just lifestyle, beauty, vlogging. Thank you, bye.